Um, hello. My name is Daniel. And, uh, I'm an employee of Toshiba. Um, today I want to talk about what I did last week. <laughs> Basically, I tried to improve the integration of the Linux test framework, LTP, with Fuego. And this is my logo, and I want to compete against Timber's logo. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Tim? Can you see my logo? I think Tim is not, not listening. <laughs> no, I, I was talking out to you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's my logo, it's my language. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. OK, uh, I think it's a little bit hard to see. Is it? OK. Uh, I will start with a little background. So LTP is a Linux test project whose main goal is to validate the reliability, robustness, and stability of Linux. And basically what it has is it has different test groups. Uh, and each group has multiple tests inside, OK? So basically there are 80 LTP native groups, like for example for testing system calls, we have these calls, FS, file system, IPC, containers, file caps, NFS, tracing, RPC, many, many, many groups. And inside each group there are many tests. Okay? Then there is there are eight open POSIX test suite groups. And inside each group there are also many multiple tests. And then there are uh, 17 real-time test suite groups. These are different from the RT tests are different ones and they were made by IBM I believe like latency, measurement, HR timer, prior and so on and currently LTP is hosted on GitHub and there are many, this is an active project now uh, you can see commits this year okay. and there are efforts in documenting how to write uh, new tests and improve the LTP project Okay, so what's the current state of LTP in Fuego? So basically, out of 80 LTP native groups, we have, I wrote it in this way, uh, 0.3 tests. <laughs> we have uh, FS, the FS group, but not complete. There are only 24 out of 61 tests in FS. And then there are this one out of 14 tests uh, from kernel MISC group. Not very much. Then we have uh, the open POSIX test suite, but uh, one of the groups, the threads group, is disabled, and then there are a few tests that are also disabled. Um, uh, separately, there is another one, it's called functional POSIX test suite, which is using an old version of the open POSIX te test suite. So I was wondering, and I, I posted this into the mailing list, isn't this, this test uh, redundant, just like this double quote test? <laughs> uh, so I think this, this test is already too old, so we should remove it. Uh, and then the real-time test suite group is not supported at all. Okay? And the other problem with the current state is that there is no post-processing. So basically, you run all these tests, the ones that are available, and then you have to go through the console, through the test log, and just try to uh, get what's the result just by yourself, right? There is not a clear uh, table like we saw in the previous presentation, but you can see pass, fail, pass, fail. There was not so, nothing like that, okay? So what I did uh, from last week, uh, was first support all the test groups. Uh, I also changed to the latest version of LTP. I will tell why later. Uh, basically, now you can choose which tests you want to run by using checkboxes. Which test, test groups, actually. And then uh, I prepared a post-processing tool that summarizes the results of all tests and creates a spreadsheet uh, results that you can hand to your customer. 
or you can use for comparing with previous tests and making graphs and uh, analyzing the data as you want. Uh, so first you have to prepare the target. So for the LTP there are a lot of preparations. One is the kernel configuration. There is a file here, it's called read, read me kernel config that guides you through the configuration of the kernel, but there are some lacking information, like for example, config file locking is required by a tool called HTTP pan. And I think we should uh, we should contribute to the LTP project by improving, for example, this guide about how to configure the kernel for uh, passing all the tests. And then for the root file system, there are also several requirements, for depending on the test. Uh, like for example, you may need SAR, low setup, you may need a bash. Uh, probably you need a read write file system for many tests. Uh, actually, you need a read write file system for Fuego, or at least uh, some device or some folder that is mounted as read, read write file, read write folder. You need these old users, and then you have other requirements. Okay, so this is how it it looks like. Uh, basically, when you se select the LTP test, you have a lot of checkboxes for selecting the test groups that you want to run. So, for example, here I'm selecting the syscalls, the file system, and the IPC, for example. And then you run the test. And uh, when the when the test is finished, uh, there is a a link to a to the Excel sheet, and it looks like this. So each uh, the Excel sheet has many sheets. Each sheet is for each of the test groups. So for example, here we have FS Perm Simple IPC timers and the POSIX uh, Open Suite groups, and then for each of the for each of the test groups, we have the individual test cases, the results, and if there is any if there, there is any problem, like I didn't pass, then you have the the output here, so you can readily see the the reason that your test your test failed. Okay. So uh, this was done very quick, only in one week, and there are many more things to do. Uh, so for example. Some things that I think need to be improved. I think Fuego in general and LTP in particular should use Git repositories instead of tarballs. For example, while I was testing, I discovered several uh, LTP bugs and I was about to send them to the mailing list, but then I tried with the, with the recent upstream version and they were already fixed. So it's important to you. I think it's important to use the latest version of the tests because tests have a lot of bugs themselves. Uh, the network tests inside LTP, I want to make them completely automatic so that if you connect the test to your uh, to the host where the Docker container is uh, hosted, then you can readily uh, test the network performance or TCP commands and so on. Uh, and then there are some hidden tests that are not uh, readily usable from the scripts, like there, are, there was one for Tomoyo and a few other ones, which I want, also want to integrate. Uh, and then thanks to the contribution that the uh, team has done, I want to introduce the target dependencies for running each test group. So basically, in the pre-test, pre uh, phase, uh, the test will check if the target configuration, kernel configuration or the target root file system has enough, uh, has, is good enough for running that test or not. Uh, other than that, I would like to contribute to the uh, LTP, LTP project, not LTS, LTP project, uh, for example, by unifying the test interface by removing some bashisms so that you can run it directly on any other shell like a VCBox shell, improve error messages, or improve the RT tests, which are currently not, they don't put a clear fail pass message yet. 
Um, and that's all. Thank you for your attention. And ケースを今ゲージエールのあのギットに上げようっていう動きがあるのでその辺が差分としてますあるかなっていうのとあと全金数のバージョンエージエールの方はあのファブリックに放火してるっていうのもあるのでジェンキンスを結構頻繁に上